okay so let us see uh, the architectural drawing if we have anything else to draw so we'll go to the architectural drawing and if you see the first floor plan then you can see that you got a balcony over here okay so uh, the balcony is uh, from this column the center of this column it's uh, the edge of the balcony is at three feet and six inches now we will draw this balcony at the first floor and we'll copy it to the second floor okay so let's go to eat apps so we are at the roof and uh, over here we just need the simple drawing so what we'll do we'll again select this option and we'll not extrude frames and cells we'll just click on ok so now we'll go to the first floor we are at the first floor now so we need to have a slab over here so what you can do to draw this slab either you can define a grid at this point in the x direction also in the y direction right or there is another method that you can use okay so for that you don't have to draw any grids as far as practicable avoid drawing the grids because you know it will make your model very confusing so uh, for this what we can do is we can use the reference points okay so for that uh, we'll draw the some reference points so for that what you have to do you have to go to draw and over here click on draw joint objects so here you can see plan offset x in mm plan offset y in mm plan offset z in mm it means that by how much you want to offset your reference point from the point where you click okay for example if i click here and the plan offset x mm is uh, suppose it's uh, one meter in that situation if i click here then a reference point will appear one meter in the x direction from this point okay taking this point as the reference all right uh, okay so we need a reference point here that is at a distance of three feet and six inches in the y direction so uh, the y is zero at here so which means that in the downward direction y is negative and also we have to give the distance in mm so we'll convert three feet and six inches in mm